All right, Luka Doncic. Let's get straight to it. Michael Finley talks about the time Luka Doncic cooked Grant Williams in practice. He said, one day in practice, a player on our team, I won't call his name out, but it was Grant Williams. He decided he wanted to get under Luka's skin. He felt that Luka didn't come to practice uh, or ready to practice, so he made a long story short. They had a scrimmage going, and he was talking trash with Luka and up and down, up and down the court. So finally, Luka says, okay, and I'll tell you, Luka went on a 26-6 to from by himself. You can ask anybody. I'm not exaggerating. It was like a 26 to 6 run by himself. He showed everything the threes, the post up, the floater, everything by himself. Um, by the way, Michael Finley, that's kind of like insane dick rider for just calling out Gary Williams like that. I fuck with it though. I do. I do like it. Um, but I actually, I, I kind of believe this story. I'm not going to lie. I actually do believe it. I'm not even going to lie to you. I can see Graham. This sounds like some Graham Williams, Luca Donce stuff. Like, you know how they said Luca and Grant didn't get along or something like that? He was mad that he was wearing Tatums and stuff like that. I could dead ass see this because Grant Williams looks like one of those dudes who just runs his mouth. And you can see even when he plays, you know what I'm saying? He talks a lot. I'm pretty sure he's a great guy deep down, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I can I can definitely tell that Grant Williams loves to talk. He's loud mouth, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like, you know, the players probably do love him. Maybe not Luca, because, you know, he is trash talking. I don't want to be real. <laughs> you're Grant Williams, nigga. I'm the best. I'm one of the best niggas on earth. And you're talking down on me. I'm in the MVP convo, nigga. I'm, I'm getting triple doubles every night. I'm carrying the squad. And you think you could talk to me like that? And yeah, I, I definitely see it. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm, I. I t- <laughs> God damn, that boy Luca. By the way, like the twenty six to six run are structurally net. Like that can't just be on Greg Williams at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, the other teammates could hop in too. And like Kyrie, where you at at this time? You know what I'm saying? Like, stop it. Or maybe they were nah, I think they would probably split it up, right? Mm, probably not. I'm. I don't even know. But damn, I definitely see that happening though. <laughs> But in other news, there's been a projection for the number one pick in the NBA draft. It's my brother Reed Shepard. I actually like Reed Shepard a lot. Kentucky's the only like college basketball team that just I find like entertaining because they're actually playing fast pace up and down. They're gonna shoot threes. They don't have any defense, which is you know they're, they're probably gonna lose in the tournament. But shifty Rob is just oh my god. Reed is like uh, Austin Reed's two point. I feel like it's a la- I don't want to say it's a lazy. You could call it a lazy comparison, but he really does play like Austin Reed. He's probably, he's a better defender though than Austin Reed, and I feel like his passing might be a little better than Reed's as well. And you got um, the other Reeves on the team. You got DJ Wagner. I know people are a little upset because, you know, he isn't having like a crazy year, but because he was so highly projected out of high school. But I, very, I really enjoy that team. I'm not going to lie to you. But other than that, I'm going to catch you in the next one.